everybody, it's Miranda here with a fun little DIY. It's actually a thrift flip. Um, and I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this really cute pillow out of a little rug that I picked up while thrifting. So um, stay tuned and I'll show you how I made it. So today I want to do something with these beautiful mini rugs, tapestries. I'm not really sure what they originally were, but I found them at a Salvation Army up north. I think we we're in Pennsylvania and they're about two, they're about three dollars each and I just fell in love with them because they have like a really vintage, um, kind of that vintage kiln rug look to them, but much more affordable. And so I had originally wanted to lay them out and make them into like a rug or a runner and um, like sew them together and make them all one piece. And they looked really good that way, but I didn't really have a good place in my home for it. Um, I thought about using them in the kitchen, but they're not very big. They're only probably Mama. maybe two feet by two feet. And so it wasn't going to be a very big rug. And my kitchen is actually pretty long and pretty good, pretty good size width wise. So it just didn't fit. So my thought was if I hand sew them, I can always go back and take them apart and make them into something else. But for today, I'm going to just try to turn these into little, um, little pillows. And what you'll need to do this is some sort of material. Um, this is pretty thick material, uh, but you could use anything that you can find thrifted um, from a, a craft store or whatever. But this is what I'm gonna try to use. Some scissors, a needle and thread. Optional is some trim. I got this trim from Hobby Lobby. It's just a decorative trim with tassels and I'm gonna put this on the ends um, to kind of give them some texture and also to hopefully hide some of the like handmade, the hand sewing that I'll be using. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that I did was fold the pillow in half, kind of like a hot dog. And um, the reason I did this is because I wanted to go for more of the uh, bolster pillow look that's really big right now. And so I just started sewing up that seam um, with my needle and thread. And it was pretty tricky to get it started because this rug is just, um, it's pretty thick material. It would probably be um, the thickness of a uh, really strong upholstery material, but it's totally doable and I really didn't want to use hot glue or anything like that. So once that long seam was sewed up, I got to start on the ends and getting those seams started. So um, I cut a piece of that fringe trim and um, sewed that um, inside in between because I liked it um, more kind of coming out of the pillow. So once that was sewn up and sewn in, I could uh, start uh, with the stuffing process. So I actually just used an old pillow that I had, um, recycle, reuse, all of that good stuff. Um, one thing that was really funny was cutting open the pillow. I didn't realize the stuffing would be green. So if anybody knows what kind of stuffing that is, let me know because it really weirded me out to see uh, such a green, almost styrofoam, or not styrofoam, but that fiberglass looking stuffing. Um, but I didn't want to go buy more stuffing when I had some pillows lying around that I could just reuse. So just stuffed that full and uh, pushed it down really far in so I could try to have a little bit more slack to sew up the last end. 
uh, sewing up that last end was probably the hardest part was just getting everything straight and lined up and I also had that trim tucked inside um, if you have any sort of uh, pins sewing pins or binder clips those kinds of things I had kind of a clothespin I was using to clip it shut um, and that helped a little bit but something a little bit sturdier would have definitely made this process easier but I just used what I had So here is the finished product. I love it. The tassels on the ends, I feel like just really pull it together and it goes great with our master bedroom decor. The colors are great. It um, is just so cute and I just feel like a really on trend piece right now. These uh, vintage looking bolster pillows are a huge thing right now and it just it just makes me happy so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe